trust me when I say that college is completely outside of anything you've experienced as a high school student. Most of you will be living away from your family for the first time ever, which means learning to balance your studies with cooking, food shopping, laundry, and cleaning. Then there's the challenge of college level classes, which are harder and more demanding. Plus, with no one breathing down your neck to do your homework, you'll be totally responsible for your own learning. And as if all of that weren't enough, there's a whole new social scene to adapt to with unprecedented freedoms to learn to tackle responsibly. All this new stuff can be totally overwhelming, so it's no wonder that students have trouble adjusting to college. The good news is that many others have come before you, made all the mistakes, and figured out the best way to quickly adapt to the academic, social, mental, and even domestic demands of college life. So why not learn from their mistakes, right? This is Hands-Free Coaching with Brainscape. I'm Thea Beckman, your learning coach, and in this series, I read to you popular articles from the Brainscape Academy. And this one is about the best college tips you should know before embarking upon this next exciting phase in your life. So let's dive in. Tip number one, pack light. When you're preparing to go to college, it's tempting to bring every possible thing you could need with you, including your entire wardrobe, three sets of bath towels, just in case, and your favorite childhood teddy bears. Don't do it. It's a waste of time, space, and money. Don't try to transplant your childhood life into your college dorm or apartment for the sake of comfort. You're making an important transition to adulthood, so try to slough off the things you relied on in the past and live independently. Tip number two, explore your campus. For now, college is your new home, so when you arrive on campus, make it your mission to learn the lay of the land. One of the best ways to learn a new place is to get lost in it, so spend a day wandering about. Aside from locating your various lecture halls and classrooms, find the library, the coffee shops, and top student hangouts. Make note of where you can turn to for a good meal, for security, or a student advisor. If you allow yourself to get a little lost and even ask for directions or advice, you'll discover resources you didn't even know you'd need and special places that make college truly unforgettable. Too many people graduate without ever having discovered that great study spot that hides up a random staircase in the library or that ladder at the back of the gym that leads to the best spot to watch sunsets on campus. Tip number three, meet new people. One of the keys to a good college experience is making new friends. And to make friends, you have to meet people. It's hard, yes, especially if you're shy, but the social skills you learn in college will go with you into your first job and beyond. So make it a priority to meet and connect with as many people as you can. Tip number four, turn to your student advisor. At most colleges, every incoming student is assigned an advisor with whom they can meet to discuss academic matters and other related issues. What most students don't know is that beyond their initial counsel of what subjects to take, this person is there to support them throughout their college experience. So lean on them. Whenever you're feeling overwhelmed and need some guidance, even if it's not strictly about academics, but for example, about better balancing your schedule, arrange a short meeting and ask them for their advice. Your relationship with your student advisor is an important one, so establish it early on and turn to it whenever you need counsel. Tip number five, don't rush into choosing a major. After all, your major can shape the course of your entire career. And at this period in your life, you probably have a rapidly evolving identity, interests, and passions. Take your time to make this important decision and remember that you can always switch majors in the future. In fact, most college students do. Tip number six, explore your interests. College is the perfect time to explore what you're passionate about, to chase your curiosities down whatever rabbit holes they take you. Do not stick to the predetermined path if it doesn't interest you. Take classes on subjects outside of your immediate program. Remember, college is your time to explore, so don't be afraid to meander a bit in your education. Besides, it's better to do it now than discover many years into your career that you aren't interested in or passionate about what you do. Tip number seven, balancing classes with all the other new things in college can be tough. So as early as you can, find a healthy way to manage your stress. Maybe visit the gym after classes, develop a daily meditation habit, or start journaling. You may have to try a few stress relieving techniques before you discover the ones that really work for you, but make that discovery a priority. Also, be mindful about giving yourself time to decompress. This might look like going out to a party, even though you have classes the next day. Or it might be turning down that invitation because you'd really just like an early night for once. College is about getting an education, but a true education is about more than just classes. Tip number eight, study the right way to get good grades. A lot of students make the mistake of studying harder and for longer in order to improve their grades when in fact, how you study 
is much more important. Learning how to study efficiently and effectively is really the key to allowing you to establish balance in your college life and have time for other interests, hobbies, and social life. How can you study more efficiently? Use Brainscape, the smartest web and mobile flashcard app. Either make your own flashcards or search through the millions of flashcards we have in our knowledge genome to find the perfect study assets for your subject. Then use the app to study anytime, anywhere using cutting edge cognitive science tactics that are proven to help you learn faster and actually remember what you learn. When it comes to studying, flashcards are the most powerful tool for the fast, efficient learning of knowledge intensive and high stakes subjects that require a lot of factual memorization over a long period of time. So think history, science, law, and medicine. And by being able to smash your study goals in half the time it ordinarily would take you, you'll free up the time to actually get that eight hours of sleep a night or pursue a hobby outside of your study schedule or play sports. Tip number nine, save money on textbooks. The average college student spends more than $600 per year on textbooks, most of which end up gathering dust on your parents' shelves or being sent to the thrift store after a few months of use. Save your money and either consider renting a textbook or buying a used copy from a student who took the class last semester. Tip number 10, get involved in student activities. One of the best ways to achieve a bunch of the tips we've already discussed, like uh, managing stress, meeting people, is to get involved in student activities. Join a sports team, social or hobby group, or political organization. Seriously, there are groups with just about every interest in college. Chess, wrestling, nature appreciation, religion, LGBTQI, windsurfing, etc. And joining the one that means something to you is an excellent way to quickly enmesh yourself in the fabric of your new home. Tip number 11, have fun for crying out loud. For the first time in your life, you're in charge of your schedule. The decision making is up to you and you're surrounded by people who are mostly your own age with tons of events, gatherings, parties, and excursions constantly going. Take advantage of this great social atmosphere while you can. Join clubs, attend parties, watch live sports games, or learn the guitar. Enrich your life with as much as you can safely manage. Tip number 12, get smart with your finances. College is expensive, but if you manage your finances carefully, you can graduate with a strong head start on getting out from underneath your student debt. Go for the big wins first. Things like tuition waivers, FAFSA, scholarships, loans with favorable terms, and so on. Once you're getting the best possible deal, then focus on the small stuff like optimizing your food budget and the amount you spend on non-essentials. Make your lunches at home, buy your textbooks secondhand, get a job on campus that'll bring in a bit of money, don't rack up credit card debt. The financial aid office at your school can, can help with all of this. You might also want to consider choosing a less expensive college. For example, Canadian universities are generally much cheaper than American schools, which are of the same quality. European universities are even cheaper. Ask yourself, is the reputation of an Ivy League school really worth bankrupting yourself with when you can really get the same quality tuition elsewhere? Tip number 13, get your money's worth. You're paying all this money to go to college. Make sure you benefit from all the amenities, programs, and facilities it offers, like the gym, the library, tutors, advisors, and your professors especially. They may be busy people, but you're paying them to educate you. So never be afraid to approach one if you have a question or need help with something. Tip number 14, find a job on campus. Rather than steadily eating your way through your savings or worse, racking up credit card debt, get an on-campus job to help keep you afloat. These are great because they tend to be very flexible and you don't have to commute anywhere and you can develop your employment skills. Colleges maintain lists of job openings online, many of which are available only to students. Skim these listings occasionally and explore the options that interest you, even if it's just working in the cafeteria. And if none of the jobs your college offers interest you, start a side hustle. If you're a good student, how about offering your tutoring services to the students who are in the years below you or still in high school? If the opportunities aren't there, make them. Tip number 15, be proactive to be productive. Okay, so yes, being productive in a dorm room setting is tough. There are just so many distractions. If it isn't your phone, then it's your roommates. And if it isn't them making a noise, then it's a party you're missing out on. To overcome the constant distractions you'll inevitably encounter during college, you've got to proactively schedule your study sessions ahead of time and then find a quiet place you can concentrate and get your work done. 
like the library or a deserted office in the basement of your lecture building. You should also spend a little time every day studying what you learned in class that day or the week before so that you stay on top of your studies rather than having to study everything from scratch when a big test or exam comes along. Tip number 16, consider taking time in many parts of the world, taking a gap year between graduating from high school and heading off to college is kind of the norm. And it makes sense when you consider how little most 18 year olds know about what they want out of their career and in life in general. A gap year allows you to discover your identity, to actually consider what you want, and do the kind of deep thinking that doesn't happen when you're busy. It also doesn't have to be a whole year. It could just be a semester or you could study abroad. Just be mindful that it can be hard to return to academia when you've spent a year doing little to no learning. So if you do decide to take time off, spend some of that time actively investing in your knowledge base. Tip 17, minimize screen time. Do I even need to say it? You'll have enough to do on the computer between studying and keeping up with your to-do list. So wasting time on doom scrolling or falling into the black hole of YouTube really isn't a smart idea. Sure, you need some downtime now and then, but why not spend it on activities that fill the lamp tank, like hanging out with friends, watching a good movie, reading, or playing at team sports. Tip 18, don't neglect your physical well-being. With the demands of college, it's pretty common for sleep, healthy eating, and exercise to go straight out the window at the first sign of stress. The problem is with all the people you mix with on a daily basis, not investing in your physical well-being and being stressed on top of that can leave you vulnerable to real infection and illness. So make sure you get eight hours of sleep a night, get a balanced diet and not just ramen noodles, wash or sanitize your hands often, get daily exercise, even if it's just walking around campus and drink lots of water. Don't drink alcohol in excess, although you'll probably be tempted to and look after yourself when you're feeling stressed. If you do all of these things, you'll feel better and stronger and actually cope with the stresses that college can heap on your plate. Tip number 19, avoid substance abuse. Drugs, cigarettes, and alcohol, study aids like Adderall, late night partying. You'll be surrounded by people doing the exact opposite of what they should be doing to be strong, healthy, and capable students. Trust me when I say there is nothing cool about substance abuse. And if you feel pressured to indulge in order to fit in with the crowd, you're hanging out with the wrong people. Don't succumb and make the same mistakes as them. It is, it's not worth it. Tip 20, take control of your future. College is your time, which means that you should not only make the most of it, but also take the reins of the decision-making. This is about your future. Don't follow the path that's been prescribed to you if it doesn't interest you. You're the one in charge, so you get to make the decisions and take responsibility for those decisions. Follow these college tips and you'll get the grades you need to have options for your next step without sacrificing the kaleidoscope of experiences that lie outside the lecture theater. Good luck, you've got this.